Welcome back to Waffle TV. I'm Ross Jennings. And this afternoon I'm with fan fiction comedy. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Performing at George Square Assembly, that's right, at 4.40 p.m. In the box. In the box. Very good. Box. It's shaped like a box. It's been described as a box. Is it quite box-like? It's fairly box-like. Okay. It's got um, eight sides. The amount of sides six. that a box has. It's, <laughs> it's it has, it has. Conventional yeah. box size, yeah. I guess it's got eight sides when we open up the doors. Uh, no, it's got more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was stupid. Can we start this one again? <laughs> <laughs> who, who went down the box track? <laughs> How's it going this year, though? Oh, well, it's our first year here, and uh, it's been really exciting. Um, people are coming. Which is great. That's good. We got a good review the other day. Yep. And now more people are coming. And that hopefully sense. more people will still come because our box is not full. That sounds weird. <laughs> um, we have an empty box. Uh, we don't have a half full box. Six sides. Six sides. Uh, um, yeah, but, it's getting, but it's getting fuller. Uh, yeah, so you think I, I think that kind of, yeah, we had a good review and that means people are coming. And also our tactic of uh, giving flyers to people that look like they might like comic books. That's okay. our rule. If they've got coloured hair, if it's a girl with coloured hair, she gets a flyer. If it's a guy on his own that looks like he sweats, he gets a flyer. <laughs> so this is your flying for formula. Yeah. Basically, okay. we need to know our target market, and it's people with no boyfriends or girlfriends. <laughs> These good reviews, do they have something to do with the fact that you guys you guys focus on pop culture and things like that? We do. Um, we, so we write comedy fan fiction stories, but we write new ones every day. Okay. So every day is a completely different show. Yeah. We don't know what's going to happen half the time. And I, I, yeah, I think it's um, we, we try our hardest to kind of find a balance between making fun of like geek culture and yeah. stuff, but also totally embracing it because all of us in the show we are people who like movies, we like TV. <laughs> like when we say we were targeting people with no boyfriends, that is not a. Yeah. <laughs> that is we're certainly, just, we, we, we don't like we're not. You're a common victim. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we the, look like people that we'd like to be friends we, with. Yeah, that's who yeah, we target. We, 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 it is stuff oh, we, nice. we we genuinely love. We love like stupid nerd stuff that's our favorite stuff and we like yeah that's but we have varying levels of geek as well i'm yeah i'm pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah, de definitely the cool one and these guys talk about things i've got no idea what's going on most of the time you know i'll do a story about this, the avengers or as, as it's called here i believe marvel's marvel avengers assemble uh, something, is, that, yeah, is that the official name okay the name something confusing confused. okay the sean connery one <laughs> for some reason but um I, I did one about the avengers but instead of being about fighting and fun it's about nick fury having a birthday party and no one coming what's you your know? experience of the of the crowds here so far compared to back home or elsewhere where you've performed they're pretty nice man yeah, i quite like nice. them yeah, I, think yeah. that, I think people come though after we got a good review they came out not knowing what they were coming for yeah. whereas in uh, melbourne we had a real they knew what they were in for. Yeah, and in Melbourne, uh, we're not from Melbourne, by the way. We're from Auckland. Mm. But um, <laughs> when we do it in Melbourne, they come dressed up, like, and that's oh, kind of weird. Where they, there's like, you know, people outside dressed as Pokemon, and you're like, so you guys have even got your sort of cult, yeah, cult yeah, following, yeah. which is yeah, we get, we get a cult. We've got a bit of a cult following in Melbourne, I guess. And we want that here. We want a few more. Yeah, yeah we got like a cosplay. Role. Yet to have cosplay groups following you around. Yeah, that's oh, what that, we want. That's, that's a dream. Quite, that's that's a bloody dream. Mate. I don't even know what that is. That's <laughs> <laughs> what was that? So bloody cool. Yeah. We had a row of six old people yesterday. And now, <laughs> what? Six, six old. You say old people with such like disdain in your voice. Well, because <laughs> I was. Well, you, these guys sit on the side of the stage. I'm facing the audience. I just when these guys are reading, I just see them all just close their eyes and nod <laughs> off. Yeah, they close their eyes. Yeah, old, I, we've got this thing that old people listening. close their eyes. Yeah, old yes, people yeah. close their Because they're not but old people aren't visual. It's too much for their brain. They've got like to shut off one impulse. They have to picture the, the story. Because yeah. <laughs> they they want live comedy to be as much like the radio, <laughs> their favourite form of entertainment. Yeah. Well, it sounds incredibly original show and a great idea. And the reviews we've read are awesome as well. Original show actually because they're just <laughs> taking everything else. Yeah. We just yeah. steal people's Stealing ideals. Stealing people's <laughs> <laughs> copyrighted but works. Picasso, what Picasso say? We're putting a funny spin. Great artist. Good Take. artist. Yeah. Good at, I don't forgot what he said. Picasso said something that relates to He said to something that is quite relevant. Imitation. <laughs> To the good topic. Artists. Copy, great artists steal. <laughs> no? Good, yeah. good artists copy. Yeah. Great artists steal. Good artists copy. That's how he spoke. I don't know. I'm not a uh, whatever. <laughs> we'll run with that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for speaking to us today. Best of luck for the rest of the fringe. And don't forget to catch these guys at 4:40 p.m. every day at Assembly George Square. This is Ross Jennings, and this is Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer.